up, motherfucker? Hey, what's up, guys? I um, I want to start a new series. Uh, I'm no guarantees this shit's gonna last, but I want to give it a try. I'm, um, basically gonna be a series following any bit of news or speculation or rumor mill uh, trailers uh, maybe even like ideas that I have for Destiny 2 um, and it's pretty much gonna be like the hype train you know like like the calm before the storm you know what I mean and it's also gonna cover things during the storm itself um, with that said, uh, this episode's just gonna be like, you know, me, me just getting my feet wet, and, um, because there's not too much to talk about right now, I mean, it just won't be like a super regular thing, most likely, but I'll try to get them out as soon as possible, once some news drops, so if I hear about something happening through Twitter, I'll try to do something like the night of, you know. Um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be good for my channel growth. I think it'll be It'll just overall. I do think it'll just be fun to, to do and the document um, The road to the release of the game So that way maybe like a year or two in to the release I can look back and be like oh my god I remember when I was thinking about the game in this way and it turned out completely different because Lord knows that's how things turned out with destiny one. Am I right? Uh, anyway, let's just get into it I wanted to talk about something called the paper fortunes. You know, the little things that um that people were getting from present from the gift boxes during the dawning. See, uh, I personally fucked up. I I played during the dawning, but I didn't like prioritize like the dawning like exotics or opening those boxes. So I have the tags. I just never opened the boxes. I don't know why. Um, cause towards the end of the dawn, I started playing GTA and just, com it just completely all like slipped my mind. So I kind of fucked up. But anyway, if you're not in the know what these boxes are, they are, um, no, what these paper fortunes are. They're just little like consumables that you don't actually consume. I don't think. And they have a little like bit of like lore text. Sort of, kind of. It's just... Like, I think the way that it works within Allure, what they are, are, um, they're like fortune cookies, pretty much, you know, like, like, you know how you get like a Chinese fortune in a fortune cookie? Well, with that being the case, it looks like, it looks like Cade 6 had to write some and different people in the tower wrote them for the guardians to open up the, like, the fortune box, the fortune gift box and get a fortune, you know, and it's like a fun thing. But... In reality, the people who wrote them were definitely Bungie employee, employees, employees. So what, what that tells me, and what I think a lot of the community is thinking is that, you know, since we're leading up to the release of Destiny 2 and it being, a, you know, like officially, officially announced in trailers and such, now would be a good time to start planting those seeds, you know, to start, to start the, to start the hype train, pretty much, or you know. And to start the anticipation for the release, and there are a, there are about like 50 of them, different fortunes that were made. Um, but I handpicked a couple of them that I think are pretty interesting. Well, I mean, I liked a lot of them, but I handpicked a couple of them that I think that may that may pertain to what happened to Destiny 2, or they may not at all. And it, th this could just be a way, like, they could just be random ass things that Bungie employees wrote. Or they could just be, like, them trying to throw us off and make us think the game's going one way, but then they actually reveal it to be doing something different. They just want to get us excited. Or I, or it could be the first thing that I'm kind of, like, that a lot of the community thinks, is that these are actual seeds of what's going to happen. I, I'm just going to get into it. I've been, like, being on a bit. So, anyway. First one here that I want to share is um it, it says you will destroy to rebuild. Second one, be open to others. Your walls will come down. Uh, the third one says the speaker will dream of beautiful and terrible things. Number four, the world shivers 
with the sense of change, anything is possible. Five is you stood by the city in its hour of greatness, need. You will do so again. I read that terribly, let me do it again. <laughs> you stood by the city in its hour of greatest need, and you will do so again. All right, that was better. And the fourth one, no, not the fourth one, the final one I want to read. I think it's the what is this, one, two, three, that's six. This will be six. When all is lost, you will still be a guardian. You will still be enough. Um, if you don't read them dramatic, they, they, they just seem like wishwash. But if you read them like I read them, you know, they can, they can get you riled up maybe. If you care, if you don't care about the game, of course you're not gonna care about the video. But anyway, um, you can see what I mean though by like all those quotes that they all like allude to like something big happening. Some of them um, even line up with this, uh, you know, quote unquote leak. Uh, I think the first, I think it came from that guy at Kotaku. I forgot his name. I, I don't. I'm not familiar with his name. <sighs> Excuse me. But this guy at Kotaku who's been consistently like leaking like leaking things that are coming in and like and uh upcoming destiny updates he's been doing this since the release i think he did it even before the game came out and um the dude's been pretty fucking accurate actually most of the time like no i mean every single time he predicted something some of it was true and he has said a lot about destiny 2 already and the direction that the studio is taking it and it aligns with with um with the fortunes here um but there are a couple of fortunes that also may that kind of counter that like kind of like contradict it but with that said um i'm gonna try to wrap this up soon but i i do feel like the direction like a, a a very possible outcome for destiny 2 since um apparently bungie uh, really wants to have a fresh start for players. I can really see the game going a direction where the where the city and the tower and maybe even the traveler um, like we all take a big L because um, we haven't had anything like that yet. Like we've never been like pushed to our, to that limit. Like at no point do you ever feel like the city's in, in like real real danger. Because we end up disposing of all of our threats on a different planet or far, far away from the city, you know. And um, the city's never really portrayed as like being this, you know, at being at 100%. All of humanity isn't, you know what I mean? If that was the case, we'll have control over all of our planets. Um, so I feel like that that leaves a possibility that that we can in fact lose everything that we got, you know, like the little that we got going into Destiny 2. But the thing is, huh, sorry, huh, very unprofessional. But the thing is, like a counter argument that I've been seeing that is pretty strong, I, I sort of feel is that none of our enemies really pose a threat at this point. You know, the hive don't have their leader, and every time they, you know, start up with trying to follow someone else, we go ahead and assassinate the motherfucker before they can even get started. Um, Crota does, I mean, Oryx does have two sisters, but I feel like that's that's a ways away because we dealt with the Hive so much, you know, that it, it'd be too much. Um, everyone, everyone feels like, and I feel like this too, that, that, that the Cabal are up next at bat for being our, like, main baddie. But the Cabal never showed any interest that far into our solar system. But who says when they bring in the reinforcements, they just won't, like, steamroll through all the other planets, all of our little, like, outposts there, and go straight to Earth. Um, the Fallen kind of made a pretty good push um for taking over the cosmodrome and um and rise of iron but you know we stopped them and they have no way of producing siva again so they're not really a threat necessarily and um the vex and no one really knows what the vex is up to but they never shown that much interest in earth yet but i mean things can change right so um i'm in this here this this is already 10 minutes um Hope you look forward to more videos. I'm going to try to make them shorter in the future. Um, and along with this, I want to do um, 
a couple of other video ser series or seri series is whatever I want to do um more covering uh anticipation for the uh, for destiny 2 i want to do some videos i have some like skit ideas for like gta and stuff i'm gonna like, sort of try to do um i have some more videos to release in terms of just like pure gameplay i have a lot of footage i, I need to get rid of i think i'm gonna start like dumping that out too even if it doesn't have any commentary or anything over it um and yeah i'll talk to you later